beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. We stand for the national anthem of France. The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4 5 1 formation, Jim. Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too, but certainly if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this too. So we're up and running. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yes, yeah, Samuel Mtiti. He's a very fine defender, of course, but it's what he contributes offensively that I find very impressive, Peter. When he plays in his favourite left centre-back position, he's able to use the fact that he's left-footed to step away from the press and just stride upfield, lifting... Shoots! Good stop, that wasn't easy. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Mbappe with the clearance. Hernandez. Rafael Varane. Matuidi. Conte. And it's Giroud. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Now a chance to break. And it's got through. Titi cuts it out. Hernandez. Pogba. France have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Titi does well to read it and intercepts. Giroud really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Havar. Not forward. What does he try from here? He's played him through. Room for and the shot! Goal! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled.
Morocco draw first blood here. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Matuidi. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Pavar goes for a sweeping cross. Hakimi. And the counter-attack is on for Morocco. Zayek. Good take, and he's had a look. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Pavar buckling down that right flank. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. And it's Giroud. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Pogba. He's got away. And the counter is on. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Morocco seeking to maximise the moment. Morocco with a chance here to increase their lead. Oh, shooting chance! And the defence can get it clear. That's a half-decent try. And he's there to hoof it away. Mbappe, Griezmann, dinks one in, Griezmann gets flagged offside, Hernandez. Keeper's got good distance on that. Well, they could break here. Not offside that time. Conte sticks in a foot to win it back. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Pogba. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Dashing forward at pace. <laughs> Defending... And the first half is done, and there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. <laughs> so, views on the first half? Well, I think there's plenty to be pleased about with that first half display in terms of the score and, and overall approach. Morocco head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. And we are already promptly back underway. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. And it's Giroud. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Zayek. Tarapt. Tarapt plays it forward. 
Hakimi. Tarat. Zayek. Tarat. Tarat goes looking. Shot a goal! Well, even for him, that may have been a touch ambitious. Rafael Baran. Havar. Tries to get it forward quickly. And here's Griezmann. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Morocco are ahead here by what is still the only goal. That'll be a throw. Tarat. Played back in. Has a hit! Pogba. Giroud. Plays it out to the flank. Pavar gets into some space. And in it goes! That has certainly made things interesting. Well, they're back on level terms, so the guessing game goes on. As to what will happen from here, I've no idea. Cut out in the nick of time. Zayak. He'll try from distance. Titi drives it forward. And he's going long. And it's played forward. Chance! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. I think that defence will be feeling mightily relieved now. They were really saved by some poor finishing then. Giroud, Griezmann. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And here's Matuidi. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, his instinct and the timing of his runs have proven fruitful, but they have to give him a harder time like that. Forward it goes. Right through the middle. Griezmann collects the ball from behind. He gets past his man. Mbappe. France showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Finds himself eased off the ball. Hoists it forward. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And it's Zayek. That's the through ball. He's gone for it! And 
no, we couldn't find the finish. Well, we could be headed for a scenario in which next goal is the winner. That chance could have been it too. for a change in personnel. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Morocco merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Just brushed off the ball there. Goes for goal! Oh, that is rather wayward. Morocco are looking quite mean on the counter, and combating that requires even more meanness. France making another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts, because he has put in a real honest shift. Giroud, he's looked long this time. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. With Zayak. Zayak. That's a corner kick. from immediate danger. Forward it goes. Defenders on the back foot. Time is ticking away, and they're playing as if they're defending a lead. They've got to get it up the pitch. Griezmann tries to stroke it through. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. So nothing between them after all of that, and you can't really argue with the result. Yeah, the manager.